Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to animate still images in Photo Director 365. So I've got Photo Director open here. I'm in the library section. Under the project tab, click on the import button in the bottom left corner and choose photos. Navigate to your folder, choose your image and click open. So here is the image. Next, go to the Guided section up top. You'll see this dialog box. Click OK. And in this left side panel, drop down the animation effects. Next, drop down Photo Animation. And in this left side panel, you'll see several tabs here, and I'll cover each one of them in a moment. The first tab is called Motion Arrow. And it allows you to add a motion arrow like so. You can drag the arrow like so if you need to. You can rotate and extend the length of the arrow as well, like so. Now, if I click the play button, you'll notice that the whole image animates like so. Let me add a few more arrows to this image. Let's do a quick preview to check to see what the animation looks like. I can use the slider in the left side panel to speed up the animation. Let's do a quick preview to see what the animation looks like. So that's a bit too fast. So I'll use the default setting. Let's go to the next tab, which is called Curve Motion Arrow. And let me add a couple of curved arrows, like so, to the image. Let's do a quick preview to see what the animation looks like now. If you want to delete an arrow, you can right click on it and then choose delete. By the way, you can also use the delete key on your keyboard to delete an arrow. Let's go to the next tab, which is called anchor points. If we preview the image, you'll notice that the trees at the bottom of the image are also moving. So I'm going to add a few anchor points down below, like so. Let's do a quick preview to see what the animation looks like. So that's how you use anchor points to keep certain areas still. Finally, let's go to the last tab, which is called Brush Freeze Masks, and it also works similar to anchor points. You'll notice these two brushes and add and an erase brush. By default, the Add brush is active. And I'm going to draw on certain areas of the image, like so, so that they remain still. Let's do a quick preview to see what the animation looks like now. You'll notice this checkbox in the left side panel. If I uncheck it, you'll notice that all the markings are hidden on the image in the preview section. You can hover your mouse over the image to see them again, like so. Let's do a final preview to see what the animation looks like again. So that's looking pretty good to me. So let's render an MP4 video. Click on the Produce button in the bottom left corner. It will see the style box pop up. Choose your folder and file name. Next, choose the file format. I'll stick with the default MPEG-4. I'll leave the default aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Under Profile, you can choose a video resolution. I'll go with 720p. For the duration, I've set the slider to 15 seconds. And finally, click the Produce button. It will render the video. This could take a few seconds depending on the complexity of your project. You'll get a confirmation once it's successfully processed. And here's how the photo animation video came out. This, of course, is a basic example. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.